the winner will be moving on to the semifinals taking place on Saturday, and it means they are also in the money. We are about to get underway. Let's kick it off to our casters. DDK, I love that natural European confidence. I feel every <laughs> European caster goes to an American tournament, it's just like the European team's gonna win it. I'm right there for you. Zoot, introduce Sacrifice to us in 140 characters or less. I'll do my very best. Uh, both teams are playing it for the Soul that spawns 20 seconds into the game. Bring it over to the Obelisk and hold it for two and a half minutes and you will win a round. Win two and you win the map. Perfectly done. All right, here we go. Underway with uh, two teams starting to uh, pick up a handful of cracks, and it will be uh, Celeste Pip and Zrock going to uh, uh, eat away at those Team Liquid players. And here we go as uh, Team Liquid will move through and crack that salt. I love how it is already. He passed that salt to the faster champion, Latromi, with the Anarchy being able to swiftly move over to that obelisk. And um, also to note, Galena, we have not seen used at all at the regionals whatsoever. Zron has picked up that champion and is using it against what is quite a squishy lineup that Team Liquid is using. Rafa here going to get himself an easy pick on two claws there and then we'll go hunting for more as he uh, lines up Slim and will in the end get down himself. And uh, that quad sometimes a bit of a, a devil and a curse, so a gift and a curse at the early stages. No, indeed. You, you might find that people are focusing on the soul a lot more at the beginning, and uh, 45 seconds into the game, that quad will spawn. Uh, the objective is going to be the main focus, but when protection spawns at the second time out, 2.45 in, people are really going to be paying a lot of attention to that, because that can be a game changer. Quad right in front, though. Claws managing to get it on his hands a bit, and uh, it's slowly ticking up with 25% already for 2Z. This seems like a, a a nice start that they'll, they'll happily welcome. Yeah, they are picking up frag after frag. Claws is uh, patrolling on top of that obelisk right now, looking down towards, uh, uh, who is that down there, as he will get picked up by Rafa, who will be able to escape and push back uh, Latromi as well. Nice play, Latromi trying to get himself involved, and up to 32 to zero, though, as the soul gets, is about to get picked up. Uh, I like how we're seeing the Tuzi guys defending from the outside of the base, rather deep inside. So it means it's blocking off any of the choke points where they need to throw that salt. But it does look like, a, I think, to hang it managed to grab the salt for a moment. We've got Rafa chasing nearby. Um, uh, and that is actually going to be Silent Step, who manages to grab it with the saw like briefly, passing it around, trying to get the pummels going. Claws trying to get some of the action on Slash as well. But an absolute, well, just a, a huge carnage going on the outside of base B. Yeah, so that's going to pick up two frags in the end before going down to Rafa, who himself helps himself to a double. And uh, now you will see Claws on four, 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 four getting just destroyed by, I think it was Dahan coming from behind. Yeah, rough for now. Uh, it's got 10 seconds until that power up's going to be up. It is going to be protection. We expect this to be heavily contested. Rafa sitting and waiting there. I'm just wondering where on earth have all the players from 2Z gone? It seems like their focus is elsewhere. 79 health. That reduces the damage taken by, well, by four. And uh, he's trying to get something going. They finally got it onto their point A. Uh, not too much damage. The, the focus from 2Z has not been great. And uh, at last, Rafa is re-secures the base. And uh, he's now trying to push back all those 2Z players. Yeah, he's done an excellent job of this. He's still going with it. It's still over like 50 health now as he pushes in for all that damage taken. He is on form. And we talk about the protection, and it is just so powerful. It is the item to take. And from there, a player like Rafa with it can just change the game. And you can see that Team Liquid have managed to rack up, almost tying this map up. And also with the, the small champion having protection, you can, you can have less health and be able to defend yourself a lot again. And you, can jump, you hit the nail on the head with Rafa. You do not want to be giving him power-ups if you're the enemy team. You definitely want to control that very, very carefully. Uh, looks like Latromi's managed to grab the soul, but isn't able to take it very far out of the base. Support, though, comes from Silent Step. We've got Claws alongside him with the Plasma Trail, and he's looking to bring it back. That rocket jump, not too bad, but he's uh, uh, a couple of slips, but it'll do just fine. Now the teammates need to come back and support him. Yeah, Silent Step with the run now, chasing out with his rocket, trying to finish off one of those incoming players. It was wins. French for World hit the deck as Silent Step now goes in looking for more. He's got another frag lined up. No! The heck will eventually pick up that frag. And uh, Nui on board with Latromi, who helps himself uh, as well to the frag of uh, D. And, well, 
that uh, Obelisk is racking up in favor of 2Z right now. I'm trying to uh, understand uh, how Zron's going to be playing Galena. Because it's uh, very interesting. You've got the totems. They can either heal a teammate for 50 health, or they can do 75 damage to an opponent. But they can blow it up. So you want to put it in strategic places. Uh, and uh, it's going to be interesting to know where is that extra damage and healing coming from later on. So definitely something for everyone to keep their eyes open for. Silence is looking to defend that Obelisk. And they got up to 65% and counting here is 2Z. Quad goes up and is collected, and away will go. She gets dropped down. It was Dron, I think, who had it before Dehang gets picked, picked him off. And now, who has claimed it for them? Uh, claws, frag after frag. Dehang and Rafa going down, and uh, God, it is carnage out there. Oh, Zron's managed to find it straight up. The claws cleared a lot of the players in that part of the base. Uh, and uh, that is going to be Zron here. He's putting the, the totem right behind, so that means they can't see that totem when they're moving into the base. So they can try and clear it by sending a rocket behind, just just in case the totem happens to be there. But if they attack it without thinking, they could just suffer uh, 75 damage really easily. And here we go, Zron going to look to clean out with only 9% left for this 2Z side to finish Ouch. off playing this win. Rafa goes down, and Zron has been able to like absolutely decimate players coming through. And he has just bit, played the middle area and stopped it going through up to 99%. There it will go, and it should be a 2Z win. So it looked, uh, it looked a little bit difficult at points when, the, even though 2Z first got uh, the control of Obelisk B, Team Liquid did have a really good run of it, taking it back to themselves. But it seems after a while, 2Z, I don't know, the, the nerves, uh, they fell, and everything went back to how we expect. I did say earlier on the desk that I feel that um, maybe it's not so secure for 2Z to get this win after Team Liquid's been playing, but right now this bodes very, very well uh, for the 2Z team. Let's uh, let's catch up here in round two, though. What can Team Liquid do differently on uh, the second map? Uh, well, they're going to have to frag a lot harder. You've got some of the most talented aimers in the world on 2Z team, and it's something that a lot of a lot of teams and uh, I think a lot of spectators underestimate them since they're not the most famous players in the world at all. Uh, so we're going to have to see the aim game on, and we're going to have to see the coordinated rushes. What 2Z likes to do, if they have to attack, they'll try and get one pick off, and as soon as that happens, that is the mark for everyone to go in. So we need to see some uh, some quick retaliations, I believe, from Team Liquid. All right, well, away we go. How are you looking good and strong? It's gonna help itself, but that's uh, uh, going to be avenged in the end before the trophy comes in. And we're just trading frags before that quad is picked up. Claws had it momentarily before Dahang will pick him off. And still there, Team Liquid, though, still do have that uh, obelisk uh, under control. And they're up to 25% now. And yeah, this is much the start they will want. It will have calmed any concerns they had as uh, they push through. But Soul has now been retaken. Oh, that damage from Claws. One HP over here for ID. Kind of get, not quite get the last damage. And we've got the 225 uh, bubbles that he can take to heal himself up a little bit. Uh, and we saw the beginning, really, was just a kind of a game of chicken to see who was even going to go for that power up while everyone else plays over by the soul. Soul is on the ground for the ID going for it right now. And he's got a whole well of these coming 2Z players as he will be. Oh. Uh, oh. A frag coming in from the Trevi who gets it, but he won't be able to long. Oh, he will! Two quick frags for him, and he is away with the soul in his backpack as he looks to try and make his way down towards the obelisk and set this up for the first points on the ball for 2Z. That's it. Now, looking to see if they can get uh, that second round up. Plenty of time to go, and he's just going to be spraying that acid on the floor, so anyone walks on it, they're going to be taking some damage over time. And that's uh, 10 damage every second for about five seconds, in fact. Uh, there we've got a good attack coming in from Team Liquid. Are they going to be able to bring it out of the base? Because we've already noticed that Tuzi love to defend from the outside. You can take the soul if you like, but the really the trouble is escaping. They've done a good job of that. They so we'll go down and let's see. Uh, it was momentarily with Claws, uh, but he will be docked now, collected by Claws once again as he escapes. Has two players covering his back as well. Here we go, Claws will run it home and uh, quickly up to 10% goes that obelisk and Claws can now get on the defensive as he looks to incoming Team Liquid players who are scratching him right now and couldn't quite get uh, enough help for himself there as reinforcements eventually make their way in. Uh, Claws coming out again, does get a direct across. I think they actually ex they rocketed each other directly just then. Uh, the hang does manage to spot that totem on the teleporter exit a little too soon. Quad coming up once again. 
And so someone grab it, please, finally. I think somebody took it. I believe that was Wins who, who got hold of it. There is Plan the next, trying to do some damage. He's going to kill himself for a teammate, but an opponent just ran in at the same time. You can't use a bind to do that. You've got to go on, to the, uh, on the menu to kill yourself. And uh, they're suffering. ID hasn't got much health. Are they even going to be able to attack the objective? He's going to make his way in. He is uh, covered by two players. I think more than anything, he just wants to run that quad down rather than sit in another third player's hand because he didn't have the health to really contest. And in the end, they've been able to pick up one, two, three frags going in here. And now they'll try to move in. Yeah, passed across. There's the hang. Going to be trying to slide a little bit. Silent step, trying to slow things down. And that's going to be the pummel from Claws just sliding right into him. And I know that he's been uh, working on those uh, those pummel moves quite a lot lately, so uh, working fantastically for him. There we go, moving away, you will see 2Z to some uh, almost 60% on that obelisk because Team Liquid's attacks just aren't working for them. And you lost much of what you said, like, ow, oh, big pick coming in there, and it will be wars onto the hang and defending that uh, obelisk so resolutely at the moment. Team Liquid can't get close. I know that 2Z have actually been saying um, uh, before, before, last night, in fact, that actually people underestimate the Tribolt a lot. They said it's a fantastic defensive weapon. And I think we're seeing some examples of that right now. Claws coming close, <laughs> striking fear into his opponent's eyes with the pummel as he slides towards them. Slash being one of the fastest champions in the pool champions that we have. ID, very weak. And I think I just spotted that. Yeah, Rafa moving past. Getting those health bubbles would help a lot, but that rail comes across doing 80 damage and of course only 75. Anarchy, a very weak champion, especially with no armor. Perfectly timed rail there waiting for Rafa as he came around that corner. On board with Claws. 45 points of health drops down at all those come up to 82%. And this really is looking barring something special from Team Liquid to be a 2Z 2-0 as they push forward now. And uh, they're gonna go in again, and that obelisk is uh, a very little threat. But now is there an opportunity here as the Hang charges through, gets himself the first frag, and the obelisk is away. And the Hang will move into the uh, protecting role as that soul is tossed across the floor. What he just passed it to a teammate. Now he's passing it the other side of the acid, and they're trying to stick them in a choke point here where they can't get out. All of a sudden, the 2Z players have just locked them down completely. Are they going to be able to bring it? back at all? I think there is Team Liquid just managed to grab it and are finally going to get a few more percent on the board. It's just a question now, how quick are 2Z going to come back? Well, Look at this. Picked off trying to defend. So we lost. And uh, now you will see the soul in the hands of Claws as uh, he will ride the rockets and in the end ride them too hard as it'll be uh, he who gets that frag and uh, the soul now picked up by Zron. Zron okay, taking a lot of damage, goes in the rocket training and he does have some reinforcement, tosses that soul out and uh, will, will be taken away. I think it was Latromi that just managed to grab it and take it back to the base. Excellent coordination that we're seeing from 2Z at the moment. The speed, the pace that they're bringing uh, does not seem to be matched at the moment by Team Liquid. There's only 2% more that they need. Team Liquid really on their, their last legs at the moment. They have got to bring it back and they've got to get out of the base. And I can see the 2Z guys uh, starting to pile up. When he finds himself with... Well, he just passed it to the opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever said the French would surrender, but he did. I think he got there. I'm not sure whether he was expecting someone else to come in there, but there it That's is. 100% is up, and that will be 2Z 2-0. Wow. Now, they didn't make that look very difficult, Stuart. <laughs> that was that was quite quick there from the 2Z players. There's, there seemed to be a lot of struggling. I, I, I feel like the coordination that we've got between the 2Z guys, I can see Zron just in the corner just I and mean, smiling, laughing all the time, he seems, which is just exactly what that team is all about. Uh, I'm, honestly, this is what I thought could happen, but I didn't want to sound like an overconfident European, but it, it might be happening right now. Well, I mean, if you look at it, that lineup there, there's not a lot of big stage experience. No, not And they at all. don't look like they're nervous uh, in the slightest. No, which is absolutely amazing. I'm trying to think, uh, Science has been to uh, a few large events. He's probably the most experienced player out of all of them in that regard. But we've got Zoran, who's... Uh, he's been to a Moscow land. He hasn't ever attended an international land. Maybe maybe a couple of uh, homelands in the CS in the past. Uh, Claus did come to last QuakeCon, but uh, he didn't have a huge exposure, I'd say, to the big stage. Uh, he's the youngest player uh, on the team and one of the youngest players uh, in the Quake World Championships at the moment at 19. Um, and 
he's already, I would say he's got bravado because he always is very, very careful to make sure he tries best in every game, but he feels that he has the potential to be one of the absolute best. Uh, and Latromi, I'm, I can just reflect back on the TDM Prague land. He doesn't have any major tournament experience. And these guys, are, they're playing like it doesn't even matter at the moment. They're playing like they're at home. And for you, this Team Liquid side, All-Stars, they do have all the stage experience you could possibly want. Completely. But it's not working for them. What would you do differently? You identified in that last match that they had, you know, they, they were having issues like in the retake, you know, or, or getting past that first retake. So they'd be allowed to get the Obelisk. They wouldn't be allowed to get uh, to get to the Obelisk. They wouldn't be allowed to get out. Yeah. How do you change that? No, no, that's difficult. I think that's the million dollar question right there. Um, they're, they're just going to have to be stronger on blocking that entrance uh, and trying to hold. Some, a lot of teams, they like to, they get the solo think, okay, I've immediately got to get back as soon as possible. You don't have to take the soul back straight away. You can play the map control. You can try and get the kills, force the spawns to happen on the other side of the map so that you can clear the way back to the base. I also think they might not necessarily have been ready for a Galena pick as well. I mean, this is something that we don't see. And I, I know that Tuzi, they're the type of people who have got a few, uh, a few surprises, a few things up their sleeves that uh, they're probably going to be unraveling in this massive tournament. What impact do you think that Galena pick had on what we just saw? Uh, it, you, you have to watch out for, for something new. You've got to be aware of something that in practice you don't have to be careful of. You run on, usually you watch out for acid or you watch out for the plasma trail. You're not really caring about totems. And if you walk around a corner, all of a sudden you 75 damage and inflicted. And especially if you're a weak champion, uh, a low health champion, and we saw an Anarchy, a Slash, and a Nyx, they don't have a huge health pool. They go in there and they take that damage and all of a sudden that's either going to kill the champion or it's going to put them on critically wounded status. Uh, and I think already there, having to uh, be aware of that is almost trouble enough in itself. And the map pick that we saw, would you have gone with that again, or what would you have done differently? Well, that was uh, Team Liquid's map pick just then. Um, it's, it's tough to tell. I think what we'll do now is we'll find out how they do on Ruins, which is 2Z's map pick. And uh, if it goes just as bad, then I'm really not sure there is some kind of cure. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And Ian, here in the uh, round one of Ruins, which is 2Z's map pick. And uh, we will get things uh, started at the moment. As the enemy has got the soul. Enemy being, uh, I think that is Team Liquid, but immediately Claws is going to grab hold of it. We have got all the chaos happening in the middle. And again, just passing it to an opponent. I think he might regret doing that. Yeah, no joy for him. And that soul is going to uh, move away quickly. And uh, it will be Team Liquid who will put those first points on the board. We're on board with Drawn as he begins to wrap up a handful of frags and now goes looking for more and will oh, just... No, he won't. He and that quad will hit the deck as he tries to escape shielding his teammate. I've got Lepromi who loves just going with the shock and you can see the power that he holds with that gun at the moment. Is he going to be able to get a couple more frags with it as Tuzi have already taken the soul back to their own point and are racking up those percentage points. Yeah. History seems to be repeating itself here as uh, 2Z start very strongly once more. Yeah, I wonder how they're going to be defending because it's not quite this. It's not the same layout as we've got on Lockbox. They might be defending a bit more from the middle rather than the point if they're going to be using a similar strategy. But uh, let, let's find out. Let's let's be exposed to what their strategies are and uh, uh, and see what happens. And uh, we have got Zron down at the bottom. He's managing to get that uh, that armor. Spawning every 30 seconds in that part of the map. You can also see it uh, the respawn timer itself. Yeah. And he is actually going to use that first one right at the end. I don't know if that's going to be a panic play. But Rafa comes back. Is the pressure going to keep mounting from the 2Z players? Or is this a, This seems like a really good uh, uh, hold, actually, from Team Liquid. Yeah, Team Liquid have picked up uh, three of the last four frags and have just been able to stop anyone getting in. But right as you say that, there uh, has been a rogue player getting in. It was Claus who has got in. And Latromi and Zoran both pick up frags. Rafa wins and Dehang all out. And this should so open up an opportunity for TZ. Surely they just wiped the entire team just then. We've got to see that uh, soul carry. Soon. I think it did get passed back, thrown back over to the top obelisk. And that is Silence Step, who's going to be trying to grab it. Has he got team support? Does not seem so. Looks like Team Liquid have uh, found a counter. And they do, and they have uh, control once more, and points begin to rack up, and you can just see this uh, Team Liquid side ready and waiting for incoming, and there it is. First player in, second player in from 2Z, and uh, Franks will be abundant. It's Id who gets the silent set down. Now here we go. Oh, this is Ron. He just manages to get a hold of that protection itself. Claws has taken it back. It'd be great to see uh, what Ron's doing with the protection. If he manages to get some health, it could really secure another 20, 30, 40% on the obelisk. 
And that's a, a dangerous amount to be giving away. There it is. Ron does have it still. On ball with Ron, and uh, he will rain rockets down towards who is this. He's just clipped his shoes oh, and then oh. picked off Rafa with a follow-up. And now looking for more. He's going to finish off number two. That's wins. Rafa wins both out by Ron. Claws, on the other hand, has a double frag of his own. And uh, this is looking mighty fine for 2Z. And that uh, protection now gone. He's going to have to just uh, handle it with a normal stack of health. Manages to get that 80 damage down before dying, which is very important. Want to weaken those attackers as much as you can. Ghost Walk is available, but I don't know if he's going to want to use that on this attack. Yeah, well, he's going to die anyway. There we go. It will be um, Soul picked up there as it uh, trades hands on top. Claws had it momentarily before he gets picked off. And uh, Dehang will go down with it as well. And on board we push as uh, Dehang makes his way, sorry, no, Latromi now makes his way through uh, on top. Yeah, I think we had Silence up as well, and Claws following close behind. They just seem to be always stuck together on those attacks, just working as a unit. And he's just like, he does actually want to use that uh, that injection, but it stops him from shooting, so he's going to go down anyway. Might regret it, but at least he'll build up his health cap with that Anarchy special ability. So awesome. Here, defending from mid. It is going to be uh, Rafa who will be escaping with that throw. <laughs> Gets himself the frag on Strahd. And now we'll uh, look to look for teammates as he escapes out up towards, tosses the soul up towards the Obelisk. And now is just going to turn around and nonchalantly pick off with the help of his teammate. I think was Claws, but then Latromi with two big frags going in. to hang left to hold on. And uh, it will be Latromi doing a whole world of damage in there. What? I don't think happened there. I think there was another rocket frag he managed to get just before dying. Um, pressure now, the, the soul right in the middle, and we have got Silas that's doing a lot of damage, trying to get that acid spray out. Didn't hit Rafa a whole lot, but he should be able to bring it back to the point. Now Latromi back with Quad, just taken Mega, knows that Nyx has just used Ghost Orb, so can run away. Needs to find the damage, it's only got 12 health, and Claws is just sliding back. Needs to watch out, because there is <laughs> his clone, his, his mirror image to hang with uh, the Slash himself, making a massive play. Yeah, and that soul is just uh, being tossed left, right, and center at the moment. And uh, Quad is up as well and has now been collected. And uh, it is Rafa who will rejoin the action. And the soul is uh, locked down in the obelisk for 2Z. And there's only 15% uh, left needed for them. And Team Liquid need to get their shooting boots on. Yeah, they need to find a way to get in at the moment. They can see three of them on the point. Uh, already, and they just focus fire, and he died so quickly just then. 5% to go here on round one of the second map. And uh, wins, uses a ghost walk, trying to lay an attack. Are there going to be the rockets coming out? Uh, that is going to be the soul taken. Are they going to be able to throw it anyway? Just pass it over to a teammate. But there is silence there, blocking exit number one. And now to go wrap around to go over towards the rocket launcher. And uh, he seems to have maybe found an exit where there are no opponents. But right in front of him, that uh, is Ron, I believe, playing on the Knicks. And uh, he just can't stand the pressure. And that's it. You don't need to push out that far. You can stay on. If, if the opponents aren't on their own obelisk, you can hang around there until your teammates give you the green light to go in that right direction. And there we are. They brought it back to 99%. We might see the first round go down now. Oh, picked up quickly there. I think it's Rafa who's in the mix of things. Um, but uh, if it doesn't happen now, it's soon well as that uh, soul gets picked up once again. Raining in some shots from Wins now as they try to finish off the job. Is that it? And there it is. Wow. Now, that off run from Wins there, I think, really sums up the difficulty you have playing against 2Z. Wins tried to go out the first way, but Silent Set was there waiting for him. So he went backwards, dove down, and still couldn't actually get out of there. He may have had, like, as the point you were making was, doesn't matter if you don't have it as long as your opponent isn't scoring point. Wins probably had the soul for 20 plus seconds or so, but he went nowhere with it and didn't move more than five seconds away from the enemy base. Doesn't matter if you're holding it for five minutes and no one's getting points. You've just got to make sure that you, know, you get to 100 first. There's no time limit in order to do that. So we'll see if uh, anything changes. Again, these are still early rounds within the tournament. And there's still a loser bracket for these guys in either of these teams to go to. Well, let's see how this uh, game evolves. Do Team Liquid have something in their pocket to change this game up? I think that was Dehang who managed to get the soul first. And uh, we have got ID bringing it back with Sawlag. Now, is the attack going to come straight away? They need to find out the way to bend off against them. And already, Claws trying to lay down the attack, but they're not getting any of those early picks, which is actually a great first, uh, first defense for Team Liquid. And they might even be able to get onto the power up as well. Now, this fine for the soul to be given up. It depends what the hand can now do with this. Can he keep that pressure going? 
Uh, what that is amazing from Claws. He just all of a sudden just locks out that choke point, and then suddenly Dahang isn't able to follow at all. And that's very, very creative, on the fly decision making from Tuzi. Dahang in the end uh, doing his job regardless as he gets out of there and he was waiting for Latromi as Latromi eventually made it. Dahang now tosses down that soul and goes hunting for uh, more 2Z players. And he sees Claws being the first player to make his way in. He's so just got the gauntlet up. <laughs> up and that be Obelisk now. The uh, soul slowly making its way there in the shape of Rafa who will get in and eventually enough damage is done to those 2Z players. What did Team Liquid do right there? They were a lot more patient on that occasion. They waited for the right moment, and Rafa, again, using that movement, the speed of Anarchy, uh, and again, being creative in his own right, getting that rocket jump across. So, patience uh, is definitely the answer for Team Liquid at that right now. Maybe a, uh, maybe a light at the end of the tunnel for Team Liquid fans. Could say that, but there's a long way to go still. They do have the edge here on the second round of Ruins. Uh, but there's plenty, plenty more game to be had. And Latromi just coming back here, avoiding any pummel damage. He's still got, he, he's taken the Mega and he's taken the armor. And his aim is absolutely mental. They still haven't done damage to him. And this, this could make the initial uh, attack quite challenging. All right, so Hank doing God's work there with the rockets. Right, we're on board with uh, Claws as he does damage to, well, what was wins, but then three frags out of the next four go to uh, Team Liquid as they push in. And now Zeron will try to do some damage with oh, with wins, but wins will come out on top in the end. Yeah, he did do good damage, as you say, which is already going to be weakening them when they try to make it back to their soul. ID 75 health, he's going to rocket jump into the LG of Latromi. Have they managed to get the soul back? Not yet. Latromi, he's taken it. He's got a teammate who's got the quad damage as well, so this should be fairly comfortable to bring it back to base. He will do exactly that and has a teammate for company as well, and there are three players set up to defend, uh, and this is going to be a very difficult retake for Team Liquid. Definitely. Oh, there is a player on the side. Zeron is going to be spotting him, and he, he just suicided, in fact. He wants to give the quad to a teammate. Did he manage to grab it? It might even still be sitting on the base. And let's see as uh, Latromi makes it back into that side. That is going to be Claws who manages to grab hold of it. And the percentage points have now uh, long passed what Team Liquid have got on that 25% still. May I remind people that Team Liquid have yet to win a round in this series. I don't know if they've got over 50% either on any of the... No, they haven't. Uh, Claws now will pick up that frag onto the hang now. Rockets away and uh, Rafa down by Latromi as uh, he goes hunting for more. And Team Liquid, when they get over towards that 2Z side, are going in ones and twos. There's never that combined defensive power that you can see from 2Z. It's absolutely staggering as well of the aim. And I, I love how they use the, the abilities of the champions to complement how each other are playing and how those situations unravel. And again, to see the speed that they're playing at, making those decisions in real time is, is absolutely staggering. We got Silence that bit, gonna be grabbing uh, that Mega. We got 20 seconds or so until the next power-up spawns, and I think that was the lower area. We might have some pressure now from the Soul Lag of Silence set, but he gets two frags to make it three. ID will shut him down in the end, but that's the kill by Zrom. That's a team wipe. And I believe Tuzi are going to be looking to get back now. Away they go. Claws has uh, someone just cleaning out the road for him as well ahead, and he will eventually put that down. He knows that there are two players on his six, but he will escape, and they will set up kind of this defense just outside uh, of that obelisk to look to go through. Nice frag coming in from Dehang. Silent Sep himself has some kills, and he will be going back to try and stop Dehang from getting into that obelisk. But Rafa will pick him off with that rail. Yeah, I think that is uh, Dehang. He still has got that uh, that protection. He's got the soul as well, and absolutely, if, if you got both of them, you're making the right decision. Swing on by that lightning gun, only doing one damage at a time, but he's slowly starting to lose health. Although the protection should enable them to get a few more percentage points on the obelisk. But now it's back into the danger zone. This is Team Liquid's best chance here. They're up to 40%. Yep. I don't think they've been this high in uh, in any of the previous maps. And uh, Dehang is holding on with all he's got. And 2Z just struggling, but you feel like 2Z have a, a plan. They're waiting to get together before making their assault. They're basically waiting around corners at the moment and waiting for Latroni or Claus to open up the defense of Team Liquid. And that's when they would they should all bite and, uh, and work together, play at the same time, and make an attack on Obelisk B. 
And now Claw's trying again, trying to make uh, his own magic work. Zeron now starting to support a little bit more as well. But I think they're going to have to uh, maybe escape it. Oh, actually, they have successfully got the soul out. Can they bring it away and send it to middle? Not yet. Someone put it back onto it, and it is going to be locked to Trommy. He might need to think about passing it elsewhere, but he's found an opening. Oh. But there's a very important rail by ID to shut him down. In vital uh, escaping rail, you could say, to stop him from getting oh. anywhere. And there's Rafa, who will prevent that uh, soul from going anywhere. Rafa, though, in the end, was dropped by Claws to hang Avengers, and, the, the, and that soul changed his hands once again. It is on board with to hang now once more as he will escape. Uh, has very little in the way of health armor though. Tries to make his way up and is picked off by Silentep, who's waiting there for him and claims himself two frags. We've got the Soul Eye getting multi kills with the pummel. It's just crazy at the moment. Silentep were killing himself actually. We have got Zrod, who did get hold of the quad damage, and he's gonna about to be supporting the Soul Carrier, which looks like his claws at the moment. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of just picking up two people who were exclusively focused on the Soul and. Uh, that allows Soul Carry away, and it allows him now to go looking for frags. He's got two from the left, two from the front, and he's doing damage to all of them. Rafa down, second frag coming in now. Oh, teammate will take it from him. It was the hang that goes down, and this will very soon be the game for 2Z. They just kill themselves as well to pass that quad to a teammate. I think Claws grabbed it very briefly. We've got an attack here, 99% for 2Z. Last chance here for Team Liquid to make something work. And I think that was Silencep just getting in the way. The soul being passed back to base from Zrod, but it is Dahang going to be slowing down progress. Dahang is uh, being a nuisance, but uh, still we lie and wait for those final deaths to come in on Team Liquid as they push in right now. It's Rafa who's charging in there. It's uh, the Trummy Claws will all pick up frags, and that's three unanswered frag. You're at the 100%, and you have yourself a game 2Z, making it look too easy. Yeah, you're not kidding right there. 66% though, Team Liquid got personal best going up versus uh, 2Z. Um, I've got to say, that was really, really convincing from 2Z. As we said earlier, they're on the big stage right now. They've got the pressure, they've got all eyes on them, and uh, they are delivering. We've just got a stretch here from Zoran. It's like, ah, oh, waking up, and this is what I like to do in the morning. Uh, uh, we'll move over to lunch in our next match. Um, if you had to pick a man of the match for you, who would it have been? Oh, it's... it's Honestly, it's really tough to tell. I love how uh, Zron adapted to a lot of the plays, but I gotta say, when he was looking on the kill feed, uh, I saw Silent Seb, he seemed to be omnipresent. And as well, making some of these these, these, these uh, gauntlet frags with this this huge and slower beast, which is Sorlag, I mean, it, again, great contribution to the team. And uh, your homework for Team Liquid, what would you tell them to go away and look at after this? I mean, it's, it's definitely tough to it down onto one thing. I think patience is uh, is one aspect that they could definitely work on, that they don't need to take it back as soon as possible. They, they're good at passing around the, the soul to each other, but I think they just need to hold on and wait until they've actually cleared a route back to base. But there's definitely... That's, that's not just the, the one thing, the one part of the formula that's going to suddenly make them uh, unbeatable. Uh, they've got to work on the coordination. You could see the plays from 2Z, that they were just working in unison at all times, and uh, we're not quite at that level with Team Liquid. Well, let me tell you who else is on another level. That's Marcus TJB Graham. <laughs> Thanks, Taz Pod. Appreciate that. Uh, I want to shoot to DDK because you talk so much about 2Z's pacing, right? We talked about their, like, people have played him and said so they're sort of playing this different style. And I, I, if I could, like, put that into words, I kind of feel like it was the start of a 20 mile marathon and 2Z just, like, started running as fast as they possibly could. And Team Link would kind of say, oh, crap, we got to, we got to run that fast to keep up. And Team Liquid was never quite able to catch up. Like, that was not only an impressive 2-0 win, it was a convincing 2-0 across-the-board devastation. <sighs> Pedal to the metal. That's how it's described 2Z style. Uh, very fast, very aggressive, and I'm very impressed. Uh, they took out a top team, made it look, made it look easy. They really did, uh, which says quite a bit about where they're at as a team. And you gotta, you gotta, I'd love to hear their comms. You know, I bet their coordination, I bet their team comms are really smooth. And, uh, you know, how they're working together and everything. It was just impressive. I, I expect, honestly, I expected a closer match. Um, and and 2Z just did. impressed the hell out of me. Yeah. I think, again, uh, a lot of stuff does come down to that first soul pickup on a lot of maps. And on Lockbox, 
I was uh, mentioning how I feel like it's the one map which has the most clearly favorite sort of uh, obelisk, and that is the, the B obelisk, the one of the big open point. And it's for a variety of reasons, but they were able to, TZ were able to lock that down, you know, both times, and, it's, and that does give you a big advantage if you're able to do that. And I feel like a lot of this, when you're playing as 2Z, is about having the experience playing them. I think that's really important, and I think that's, again, like we talked previously about how you have such experienced players. You know, Rafa's, I think, is one of the best players in the business at, at being adaptable and on, on the fly during a tournament, and that's exactly what they'll need to, to be able to defeat this team. But I think on Ruins of Sanf as well, we saw the, the crazy routine that's an efficient routine that they have, that 2Z, that 2Z have, which is just so hard to deal with because they play so fast, the Tromi, right. so, like doing it, like circles with the teleport on the map with, with Anarchies everywhere at once. So it's so hard to stop. Well, we could, we could speculate all day, but why don't we hear direct from the source? We've got Red Eye up on stage with Zran. Take it away, Red Eye. Yes, thank you very much, DJ. We, uh, Rom, we're with you right now. Um, first time in America, first time at QuakeCon. Could things have gone any better than that match? Um, I don't know, we're very happy, everything going our way, like, CCs are amazing, everything is good, we're very happy that we can play our game. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw you after every round, and the camera comes back to you guys, and you're just all laughing and joking. I, I said this morning, you guys might be a little bit nervous, but how are you, none of you are nervous? Uh, I don't know, it's my first time on the big stage, but, like, we are playing our game. We enjoying the game, so it's going good for us. Like we're just laughing, having fun, and enjoying the quick one. You're definitely enjoying it. What's been the practice regime for the last couple of weeks since the qualifiers? Uh, practice? Yeah. How's it gone? Uh, we practice not that much because I had to make visa, Klaus had to make visa, so we practice like only a few days. But results were very good, so we were confident coming into this tournament. Does it annoy you a little bit that everyone's been talking about not? too fast, Team Liquid. They very rarely do they talk about 2Z as a potential champion, but that result means they're going to start talking about you guys as potential winners, aren't they? Uh, I personally enjoy it because it's uh, more fun to play like from underdog position, so we just surprise everyone. But yeah, we are enjoying our time. All right, well, good, well done and uh, good luck for the rest of the tournament. There is uh, Ron with 2Z, the uh, winners in their match against Team Liquid. Maybe they are the favorites now, Marcus. Maybe. Uh, they certainly impress a lot of folks here in the arena. I'm sure a 